Let's learn how to add drag and drop to check for student understanding and practice critical thinking skills while categorizing, labeling, sequencing, or sorting text or images. In the Activity and Content Selector menu, choose Quizzes and Games. Then drag and drop and click Add to begin creating a drag and drop in your Nearpod lesson. There are three basic steps to creating or editing a drag and drop activity. Step 1 Create or edit the prompt or instructions for the activity using the rich text editor at the top of the screen. You can vary the text by size, color, or style. Use bullet points, numbers or symbols, and or type math equations. Step 2. Determine which of the additional options you would like to use. Add draggable images or text labels. And determine if you will have unlimited copies or one of each draggable. Add a background or add visual cues to the workspace for your students. or add reference media to provide additional materials to be used to scaffold or enrich the activity. Step 3. The drag and drop will now be saved to your lesson on the left hand side. If this is a new drag and drop, you will find it at the end of your lesson and can drag it to the best location. To edit this or any other activity, just click the activity to start editing. Consider two ways you might use the drag and drop activity. The most basic way to use a drag and drop is as a digital sorting or categorizing activity for students of all ages. This gives students access to endless draggables for all levels of learning. Another way to use the drag and drop activity is to upload a diagram as a background and provide students with text to label the items in predetermined boxes or on an image without label boxes. A pro tip for using the drag and drop is to encourage students to use all the tools available such as markers or highlighters. Creating text boxes. Uploading images or uploading video to justify how items are sorted or to provide additional information about the categories or labels used.